So today we're going to learn how to measure an inside curve arch brush from our custom design sheet on our website which is uh, industrialbrushware.com.au So we're going to start with the size of the strip backing so we need to take a measurement on the width of it so measuring here measuring 7.8 millimetres I'm going to check that one more spot just to be sure yep 7.72 so on, that tells me that this is an 8 millimetre strip um, now I'm looking at the strip brush as you can see here I'm going to figure out what the bristle length is um, using my tape measure yeah, the bristle length as you can see is 100 millimetres um, that's the bristle length only so only the black part the bristle which is protruding from the uh, the strip backing so you can also take an overall height so the overall height as suspected is 108 millimetres so 100 millimetres of bristle and roughly 8 millimetres of channel or strip so now to get the curve and to make sure you get the, uh, the curve that you're after we need to take a measurement from the distance from one end to the next. So measuring it across there, we're getting a measurement of 780 millimetres. And then also, probably should have something a bit bigger here. I might just use something to even the bottom out here. Just happens to be this strip brush's baby little brother. Um, we need to measure, so we've got the total length, 780, not the total length, the, uh, the diameter. Um, now we need to go by the height. So the height, the best indication I'm getting here, I'll put it like that, because we're not going to the tips of the bristles, we're, we're not going to the tips here, we're, going, we're aiming for this. So that needs to go in there, and that in there. So the height of the brush, or the height of the arc, 200 millimetres. Probably another way you can measure it. Again, it's, it's whatever works for you. But this should also verify and read 200 millimetres. So, like that. Yeah, we get 195, which is extremely close. But... Um, Whichever way that you feel you can get the true measurement, either by putting a marker across there or top to toe, so ensuring that the start of the strip is touching the surface, that's going to give you your height. Um, on top of that, we need to measure the, the filament material. So I know that this is polypropylene. Um, if you're not sure, you can always ask for advice or refer to any paperwork on past... Um, past spec sheets that you've, you've received from a customer or ourselves or from your design. Um, this one here measuring it in metric 0.72 of a millimetre. This here, this material, it's not level, it's uh, so we refer to it either as level or crimped material. So the crimped, I don't know if you can highlight it there, it's got a wave in it. So that's what we refer to as crimped, so it's 0.72 millimetre diameter crimped black and polypropylene. Um, so all those those measurements combined there, um, we can uh, obviously make the uh, the correct brush that you're looking for, which can be used in a number of applications, but something like this will generally be used as a wheel arch around a truck wheel, something like that, um, and can be done in, in many different sizes. So please uh, refer to the custom design sheet and this video um, is a combination of two sources of information to get your uh, true measurements and get the correct product manufactured and quoted and manufactured. Thanks.